in August during the school holidays, I filmed myself for a week um, just so you can kind of see what a week in the life running a glamping site is like. Um, it turned out to not quite be a typical week, but I promise I didn't stitch anything from other weeks. I literally just filmed everything that happened in this one week. And um, as you will see, things didn't always go to plan. It's Monday morning, it's about 6am and I have got up early because to be honest I get so much more done when the kids are still asleep. So I've come down to sort some washing, as you can see I'm just kind of lying in the washing pile because there's so much, there's always so much washing um, and I want to try and get all the ironing done. I've got uh, four arrivals today so I'm going to try and get all the ironing done for that now in the next like couple of hours while the kids are asleep. This is the washing that I've sort of dumped out of my washing machine or tumble dryer um, that just needs sorting and ironing um, so I'm going to basically put it all into piles of what yeah it needs what and then sit and iron and watch telly. All the ironing's done. Today's a little bit different because um, everyone left on Sunday and are arriving today so I did all the cleaning yesterday and then today I've basically just got to do the bedding because I've got to look after my friend's kids from about 11 today so I want to get everything done so we can just go to the park or something um, and then I'll be able, we'll be back ready to check the guests in at 3.30. So I'm just going to do all the bedding everywhere and then hopefully it'll only take me about an hour um, and then we can have fun. Okay, so I've done my um, all my uh, bedding and now we're just doing finishing touches. So we've got everybody on their bikes. Emma is super helpful, taking one trolley, William's on the other trolley, and we're all going up to put everything around with all the yurts. Okay, Emma, we need four sets of uh, brownie, four sets of brownies, what they're called? Brownies. Brownie for four. Brownie for four in here. I think that's got four in it. All right, this is all done. Right, I've got Emma filling up soap. William, you're gonna put some toilet roll in for me? Yeah. Right, you put the toilet roll in there. No, I knew that would happen. <laughs> it's fine, I can wash it, don't worry. Um, and then we also need some wood, and then this is done. So we got all the guests checked in, um, all the kids went home. Uh, we had a bit of a chilled out evening, and I am back finishing my day as I started in the washing pile. See you tomorrow. It's Tuesday and we've actually got a day off today because um, everyone's in, I've got no changes to do, no arrivals, um, so I'm going to take the kids out for today but I try and get a workout in early when I can um, while the kids are asleep and before Brian starts work because the treadmill's in his office so I can't very well go running while he's working. Um, so I'm going to do my workout, get the kids up and then we're going to flip out. I feel utterly sick, basically. Someone's flown a kite, has got it stuck in the power line. I phoned Western Power, who are just driving up now, um, to see if they can, what to do. Basically, this is like proper, full-on, 11,000 volt power line that it's stuck in. Um, let me see if I can show you. So there's the offending kite stuck in the power lines. It was across, the string was across in the other power line, which you probably can't see. Um, and then that snapped and it's now just hanging in that one. And they've shut off the whole of the power to O3. So everyone on the village news page is asking why there's no power. And um, it's, it's us. Um, not really, William, no. Um, and so I'm really hoping they fix it as soon as possible because this is really stressful. So we've obviously never said people can fly kites, we've never encouraged kite flying, we've never suggested that kite flying is something you should do on our field. Um, I didn't know they had a kite and it was only when I saw the kite stuck that I realised that there was any issue with kites. So kites are now completely banned and everyone's going to have to have an email telling them not to bring kites. Oh, I bet they're cursing us. Got it. It's Wednesday. It's about 
just before seven and I need to get the ironing done. Um, I didn't film any more yesterday because um, I was exhausted after the whole kerfuffle of the kite. Um, the Western Power people were literally amazing. They also came out at like 10 past 10 last night to give us some more leaflets about kite flying that need to go all over the site and they've been putting signs up on all the posts um, to say don't fly kites. Um, so we draw a line under that and now I need to iron. So I've got two changeovers today. I'm going to get all the ironing done now or early and then I've also got an afternoon tea for the guests that are here. So I will do a load of um, baking as well this morning before Lizzie gets here to help me clean. So today's gone alright so far. I got all the ironing done. Um, then Lizzie came and helped me do the green yurt and the big dome. Um, so they're all done. Um, Annabelle and I went to Bridgewater to get kitchen roll and charcoal for the honesty shop so I need to stock that up. Um, and now I've just got to run up to the green yurt just to um, stick in the brownies because um, guests are arriving in about 20 minutes. So um, I'm gonna quickly do that and then run down and meet them. Green yurt is all done. I just want to go and do a like, final check that I've got everything in here. Um, and then I'll whiz up and do the same in the, in the big dome. Right, I think everything is done. I've got brownies in here already. All is good towel, bath mat, um, okay. Oh, oh, kitchen roll. Ah, okay, I'm gonna run and bring that up as well. I just sprinted down in the liquid time and they've arrived. So I'm just walking up the field and they're gonna be driving up the field. And um, I basically sprint up to the yurt and then um, meet them up there and then show them around. <laughs> it's just a lot of running up and down this field. That's why I need to go on the treadmill. Okay, first guest checked in, and now I'm just running down to meet the second set of guests, who turns out they know each other. So that works out really well. Okay, we're running again. So there's cars driving all the way up, and I'm running the slightly quicker way up all the way around the side. So I get there, I round up at the same time. Although because I've just done a gazillion runs, I'm losing my fitness now. <laughs> okay, we're just doing afternoon tea. So we've prepped everything and um, basically I'm just setting the hut up for them. They should be coming down in one minute. So I basically have all the food in there ready for them and um, then they can just come down and help themselves to everything. Come in. So we've got cake and scones all ready. Um, all the cream, I've got the, all that business jam. I just need some butter for the cheese scones. And I don't go too crazy, Annabelle. <laughs> you make the people sick. Um, you see Annabelle's lovely uh, traps and cream t-shirt she made herself today. And on the back, yeah, looking lovely. Um, we've managed to lose William to his friend's house, which has been so helpful because it meant we could get on with all our jobs. Hey, Annabelle, yeah. And um, so we're just gonna finish off the cream tea and then run and get William and then we can chill. It's Thursday morning and um, I was just doing some tidying and I noticed that a frog had hopped underneath the dresser. So somewhere under there is a frog that we need to get out. Right, come on froggy, go in here. I'm really scared. Oh, there we go. There he is. Mm -hmm. So Brian's got the day off today. He takes off um, one day a week during the summer to make sure he does the mowing. So he's off mowing somewhere. He's just mowed here. I'm just clearing up after the afternoon tea yesterday. So I'll get that done and then I'm gonna reset because um, I need to have three tables of six in here for Sunday. So I'm just gonna clear this, reset it, and then it'll be ready because they're gonna come a bit early and decorate because it's a baby shower. So um, that's what we were up to at the moment. Um, hopefully we can get all that done this morning and then we can maybe have a bit of an afternoon out with the kids. We've just had our delivery of wood arrive. And this is the wood that we use in all our log burners or on the campfire. And so today's job is to move it all from here and put it into our storage, which is under shelter. I tend to use a tractor, it's just a lot easier. And I've got my helper, William, here today helping as well. Annabelle, do you just want to go and get the wheelbarrow and fill the wheelbarrow up and go and do the honesty shop for me, please? Okay. Cool.
we are back in the hut. We've just been whizzed up to Costco in Bristol. We needed things like toilet roll, charcoal, um, stuff for um, the honesty shop and things like that. And now we're back finishing this off the setup for the hut. And um, and then I think we can probably call it a day this afternoon. Um, and maybe watch a movie or something. Mind you, it's six o'clock, so it'll be tea time and bedtime soon. Um, and that's another day done. Friday morning. Um, luckily, last night I did a load of fining. So I've got New Holland yet, Burgers and Doom, Deer yet. And that's the last day I'm going to do now. Um, so I'm going to crack on with the ironing. I've got Rachel coming today to help me with the changeover. So we'll get all four done, hopefully. Um, and uh, make sure everything's done in time. All the ironing's done. We're now starting on the cleaning. So I've done in the studio and the toilets and all that jazz. We're now just by the honesty shop. So we're going to stock up with charcoal, cokes, that sort of thing. We need some more wood in there as well. Um, and then the car's loaded with all the bedding and we're going to go up there and sort. So it was a really busy day. I completely forgot to film any of the rest of Friday Changeover. Rachel came and helped me. So we got loads done. Everybody got checked in all right. And now it's time to get the kids to bed. So it's Saturday morning today. Saturdays are normally a day off because everyone normally arrives on the Friday. The last couple of weekends haven't been like that, but luckily this Saturday we've sort of got the day off. Um, so we do, however, have to go and buy all the stuff for afternoon tea for tomorrow. And we're also gonna go on a bit of a woodland walk with some friends. So the hut is all set up, the Becky's baby shower. They've done some beautiful little centerpieces um, and name tags and everything. Um, and some lovely blue bunting. Um, so they've got an alcoholic Prosecco in there. And then we'll come up and set up all the food in a minute when everyone's arrived. Okay, so we're just waiting for the guest of honor. At the moment, everyone's outside the hut, just waiting. Team tractors and cream are in the kitchen. Sandwiches are all ready to go. But uh, at the moment, the baby, no, not the mom, what they're called? <laughs> the mother-to-be is not here yet. So um, yeah, what they've done is they've um, put a load of photos of baby animals outside. Um, so you can play the guess the baby animal game. And then they've got, she's got a whole stack of presents. Secret filming. Stack of presents over there. Um, ready for Becky's arrival. Brian's happy, aren't you, Brian? Always happy. So the um, car got stuck in the mud, basically in the event park, and someone's parked too far down the corner, and it's really muddy, and their car is stuck. So, um, muscles here is going to try and get it out of the tractor. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's just really, really, really muddy down here, and we didn't warn her. I feel really bad, but it's fine. It's all good. Sunshine, the tractor to the rescue. <laughs> Afternoon tea is all done, and quite frankly, I am exhausted. So I am leaving this devastation until another week. So I'm gonna go now and edit a YouTube video as it's Sunday night. And I haven't done anything. Um, so. Hopefully you enjoyed our week in the life. Obviously, it's not quite been a typical week. Um, there's been some random stuff going on, but then there always is something random going on here at Tracks and Green. Um, but when you run a glamping site, you never quite know what could happen.